Hey guys, Aris she's got here with yet another video. Alright, before I even start anything else in this video, I would like to address two huge things. Number one, a lot of people have been ungrateful about shoutouts and they're complaining about wait time. And, you know, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you're on the list, you're on the list. And you just have to wait patiently. Second big thing is comments. Alright, just to clarify, because quite a few of you have been complaining that I don't reply to your comments and I don't care about you, I don't love you, etc, etc. I love you guys, okay? Here's the thing, however. I usually only answer comments that were in my newest video. Older comments in other older videos, I usually don't look at because they don't appear up in my notifications box and I won't be able to see it. So I'm sorry about that too. One last big thing guys, you know how my previous thumbnails were all super 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 good? Well, I, I've kind of been having an issue in the last couple of days. Basically, my thumbnail maker has demanded for a higher um, share of revenue from the amount I make, and I have disagreed with him. So, the thumbnails you see may not be as good as before, but don't worry, I hope this problem is solved as soon as possible. But yeah, it's been pretty sad times for me. Alright guys, once again I have two shoutouts to give. The first shoutout goes to David6443. His channel is all about parkour, mo parkour moments, my bad, and awesome stuff. I want his subscriber amount to go all the way up. Please, check it out, it is so sick. My second shoutout goes to Gamer Droid World, who has supported me so much. His channel is all about Asphalt Extreme, something that I don't play, and also Asphalt 8. So if you want some extra material that's even more cool than mine, make sure to check this channel out. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now before you even watch this video, if you haven't already, look at my previous video. That video is the opposite of what I'm showing today. The last video was the best elite cars in Asphalt 8, today's is the worst. Dun 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 dun! Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> but... Hope you guys enjoy, so let's get straight to it. At the number 5 spot, we have actually one of the best Class D cars, but let me tell you why it sucks. So yes, this is the Buick Avista, and oh my gosh, uh, it's handling and drifting really aren't that great. Even if you do some short, quick drifts, the handling doesn't seem that good, and that makes it a problem, because handling and drifting, even though it's not as important as acceleration and top speed in Nitro, it's still pretty important, so if you have absolute crap handling, you can't really succeed. That excludes the SLK55 Special Edition, because that, that car is, is just broken, but um, this car... It's okay to get, but since it's more expensive than the Donker Vort and the Mazda RX-8, I mean, it's 335,000 credits or 2,000 plus tokens, it's not worth it. So I'd much rather you guys get the Mazda RX-8, which is currently the Class D King, and I mentioned that car in my previous Elite Cars video, so make sure to check that out. But yes, this is the Buick Avista. At the number 4 spot, we have the Boat 2.0, or also known as the Nano Flow Cell Quant FE. Now, this car features the worst drifting and handling in the entire game of Asphalt 8. Like, seriously, worse than the Devil 16. And that's pretty bad, think about it. Devil 16 was already pretty bad. This car costs 1.2 million credits to get, or if you're not really smart and you want to buy it with tokens, 6,500 tokens to get. So really, your choice, but if you even want to get it, get it with credits. Anyways, this car is so so bad that when you tune the top speed in Nitro forward in Elite Tuning, the rank goes much lower because it needs handling. This car needs handling for its Elite Tuning. The handling, seriously, just, oh my god, is so bad. Don't get this car, avoid this car, please. You'll be, you'll be happy that you didn't get this car. But if you want, you know, to get a taste of what Nano Flow Cell feels like, get the much better Nano Flow Cell Quantino in Class D, which happens to be one of the best Class D cars. The number three spot is actually a car that I don't have, so special thanks to Rev Ghost for the footage. But yes, the number three spot is the 1967 Chevrolet Impala which actually was supposed to be the best car in the entire game before all of its stats were completely destroyed. They were nerfed. This car beforehand was a class A car that could go 320 miles an hour. So, well, guess what happened? We have a car that goes, what, 200 miles an hour? Absolute crap handling, absolute crap acceleration. 
and it costs 14 blueprints. You can't get it any other way. So good luck getting 14 blueprints. I actually have five of them so far, so I think I can get this car within the next... Wait, let me do the math, okay? Whew, let me see. Five in, what, a couple of months? So that means it'll take me another half a year in order to get the Chevrolet Impala. But anyway, this car... Not good for multiplayer, not good for any Class D events. It's just a collector's item. But still, it looks nice because it's an old car, but it really isn't worth all the trouble of 14 Blooper. The number two spot is also a car that I never got, so special thanks to Anthony Jose for the footage. It is the Bailey... Jesus, yeah, this car. This car features the lowest tuning kit boost in all of Class B. Well, actually, no. Lowest tuning kit for any car in the entire game. It's only 20 points. That sucks. What, it's, it's, um, top speed is boosted by, what, half a mile an hour? Nitro boosted by another half a mile an hour? Honestly, if this car didn't have such a low tuning kit bonus, it would rock so bad. Like, give it 50 points for tuning kits, this car would dominate. Here's the thing, though. Tuning kit just... Man, I mean, oh my god. This car costs 6,400 tokens, which is the same price as the Pugot Onyx or the Peugeot Onyx. And which one's better? The Pugot, because the Pugot has awesome nitro efficiency. So yeah, don't get this car, please avoid it, it's so, so, so bad. And okay, well now it's 8 blueprints, 8 legendary blueprints. Good luck finding that, because one of my friends actually got 2 of them, so good for that person. But anyway, please don't get this car. Save yourselves. Like, ah. At the number one spot, we have the Jaguar XJ220S. I think that's how. Yes, it is. That is correct. This car, a lot of people were really hyped about it because we thought, oh, yeah, baby, this is going to be the Class A King. Yeah, this was many, many months ago when it was released as a TLE car. Well, guess what? This car sucks. It's so, 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 so bad. Terrible. Acceleration is actually pretty decent. Its drifting and handling are mediocre. Its top speed sucks! Oh my god, it's so trash! This car costs 1.6 million credits, which is a fortune. Or, once again, if you're not that smart and you have a crap ton of tokens you would like to splurge, it costs 6,350 tokens to purchase. Now, uh, don't get it. As stated in WikiHow, this car is not very useful as its performance paramounts are unable to prevent the car from being outperformed by cars such as the BMW Homage and the Chevy 2016 Camaro SS. It is a collector's item. That's pretty much it. I mean, it goes in the European collection category and also the Jaguar's collection. So, I mean, it is the most powerful Jaguar in the game, but Jaguar is a pretty much failed brand in the game of Asphalt 8. That concludes our video, I seriously hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, please comment in the comment section below. Like I mentioned in the video in the beginning, I will try to answer as many comments as I can, and if I don't, it's not a hate towards you specifically, okay? Anyway, make sure to follow my Instagram, at God, but follow it now for a different reason, okay? This reason is because um, I've been having a really hard time with um, a fight with my thumbnail maker, and yeah, I won't be able to post that much stuff on Instagram anymore because um, my thumbnail maker was the person in charge of, you know, putting it on Instagram and helping me out with that. So even though there might not be that many posts anymore, just come on, support me, guys. I really am kind of hurt from this whole incident, and my thumbnails absolutely suck now. So um, also, that gives me an idea. If any one of you has um, Photoshop skills or anything, and you think you have you know, something that I could use as a thumbnail, I would gladly accept that offer. Just contact me at cheesemakinggod at gmail.com and I will try to get back at you. Get back to you, not at you. But anyways, yes, if you are a Photoshop master and would like to help out the cheese god, I would significantly appreciate that. All right. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, oh my god!